Are you ready to find your fit at Rowan College of South Jersey? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to find my fit in human resources, in engineering technology, in healthcare. With six divisions that include more than 100 degree and certificate programs, RCSJ gives you the choice to find a future that fits your goals. Visit rcsj.edu forward slash enroll to start today. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Danielle Morgani, an assistant professor in the Business Studies Division and co-advisor for the Alpha Beta Gamma Business Honor Society, along with Dr. Melissa Lafferty and Arena Scott. Our local chapter of the National Honor Society is Gamma Phi, and our student officers are Sarah Hart, our chapter president, Sydney Straub, our chapter vice president, Rebecca Jepson, our treasurer, and Donna Bentinkier, our secretary. Next slide, please. To be eligible to be a member of ABG, students must be enrolled in a business program or a certificate of achievement in business studies. They must complete 12 credit hours of study and maintain a minimum GPA of 3.0. Once this criteria has been achieved, members are sent an invitation to join through their RCSJ email. There is a one-time $42 fee to join, which covers the certificate and official seal to be added to the student's diploma, and also some additional ABG items. When we talk about benefits of joining an honor society, they include enhancing your resume and applications to a four-year university. You receive recognition at the induction ceremony as well as commencement. If you choose to take on an officer role, it can enhance your leadership skills. By being a member, you can open new doors to networking opportunities that could potentially lead to references for employment or even job opportunities. And there will also be additional avenues to apply for scholarships. Next slide. We realize that we have students tonight from all divisions. So we wanted to make sure that we highlight the other honor societies at RCSJ, along with the criteria for membership to those. If you have questions about any of the honor societies or any of the resources that we will be chatting about tonight, please put them in the chat feature at the bottom of your screen. We'll be sure to answer your questions during the Q&A portion tonight. Our chapter president, Sarah Hart, has taken on a leadership role this semester. At our first meeting, Sarah brought up the fact that she's been a student here for two years and due to being off campus so much from the pandemic, she didn't realize all of the wonderful resources that we have on our campus that are available to our students. So she asked if there was a way that we could bring this information to our students who may also not be aware. So that is how we landed here tonight. Sarah, thank you for suggesting this to our students. And if you wouldn't mind, would you be able to highlight the resources that we'll be chatting about tonight? Not at all. Thank you, Professor Morganti. Next slide. I would like to thank. I would like to start off by thanking all the representatives who participated in this evening. On a very short notice, these amazing folks jumped at the opportunity to chat with you tonight about their services. We have representatives from our academic support center, library resources, counseling and wellness services the Fitness Center, Innovation Studio, and the Roadrunner Food Pantry. Wait till you hear what they have to offer and information will also be provided about our Roadrunner Food Pantry. Next slide. I would like to start off tonight. I would like to introduce Elizabeth from our Academic Support Center. Hi everyone, my name is Liz and it's nice to be here with you all tonight. Um, I'm the Assistant Director of RCSJ's Academic Support Center. We're one of the many resources that are available for free to RCSJ students. So I'm going to talk to you briefly about our services. Our main offering is tutoring. So first of all, I'm gonna start by saying that tutoring is not just for people who are doing badly in their classes. Often the students who come in for tutoring are actually the ones doing well in their courses and maybe just want some extra support. We have tutors available for most classes offered at RCSJ, 
as well as tutors who are available to help with writing assignments for any class. We're currently offering both in-person and online appointments, so you can choose the type that best fits your schedule. Another one of our popular services is academic coaching. Our academic coaches are professional staff members who can work with you one-on-one -on -one to help develop some of those skills needed to succeed in college. So things like time management, study skills, note-taking, active listening, and much more. Through the semester, we also offer structured study groups where students can get together and prepare for exams with tutors who are available to help, as well as workshops on various topics. Um, you can find more information about these workshops and these structured study groups, as well as the rest of our services on our website, which I'll share with you in just a moment. Next slide, please. So here you'll be able to see our hours and contact information. If you have your phones out, I highly recommend taking a picture of this or a screenshot if you're watching this on your phone um, so that you can come back to it later. So like I mentioned, if you want more information about any of our services, or if you're interested in signing up for an appointment, you can do all of that through our website. You can also email us, call us, or you can even text the number that you see there on the screen. We're here every day during the week, Monday through Friday. We're in the same building as the library directly above the college store. And we would love to have you stop by to see us in person if you have questions that you would like us to answer. So thank you all so much for your time. I hope to see some of you around this semester. I am now going to pass this along to Jessica Hamilton from the library so that she can talk about another awesome resource available to you. Next slide, please. My name is Jessica Hamilton. I'm a reference and instruction librarian here at RCSJ. This slide is a little bit of a stand-in. It's text heavy, but it's highlighting what I'm going to show you. The resources that I wanna share with you tonight are on this articles and more page. One of them is our library service, which is a chat service with the librarian. So because we have a librarian, an evening librarian on the desk right now, this chat button has popped up proactively. Um, this is a great service for when you want live chat information right now. So long as the library is open, which you would see if you clicked on our hours, we should have somebody on chat available. I'm gonna say no thank you so that we can highlight the other things that are on this page. So because we're sponsored by the Business Honor Society, I'm going to highlight the business databases, but you can see we have databases arranged by subject for many different subject areas. All you need to do is scroll to the one that you're interested in researching, click on it, and it will give you a list. Each of these databases has its own description. You can tell we have a nice robust list of business databases. The descriptions help you select which one you want. Uh, this set has United States and international coverage. They're both current and historical. For example, you could get access to the Wall Street Journal dating back to 1984 all the way to today. You can research companies, industries, consumers, business news, or any other business topic in these business databases. So I don't have time to go into them and demonstrate them, but they're easy to search. You're used to using Google. You'll type in your keywords. What you get, however, is full text published results. They're the resources your professors want you using when they tell you do research. Again, they're all here on your articles and more page. And they help you when you're finding your sources in the databases. You get citation help. Um, you can email, print, download, all those extra features that streamline your work as a college student. So that's what some of the subject specific databases look like. I'm gonna come back up on this page to where it says all subjects, because in here we have a few databases that would interest any and all of our students. 
One of them here is called Avon Academic Video Online. It's got streaming video for any subject area you can think of. So not fun, popular motion pictures, but academic streaming video, you get in there. We have an ebook database. So if the professor says you have to use a book and it's acceptable to use an ebook and you don't wanna come into the library or we're closed because it's Sunday night, and your paper is due on Monday, you can come on here to databases by subject, all subjects where we've got an ebook database, ProQuest eBook Central. Okay, and then finally here under all subjects, I wanna highlight if you really need a jump start on your research, you don't know where to get going, we have guides for many different subject areas. Okay, and several of these things that we link to, we link in several different areas on our homepage, so it's not difficult for you to find. Also on this articles and more page under education, career and jobs, we have a database called Ferguson's Career Guidance Center. So this is an excellent one to help you explore careers, prepare your resume, your cover letter, prepare for interviewing, and other workplace skills like time management and communication. So this database is fantastic for that. And another database way down here at the bottom of the articles and more page is test preparation. It's called Prep Step. It helps with education and career guidance also, but it also helps if you want to work on some basic skills in math and in writing. It gives you practice tests for specific career tests, uh, like in civil service, real estate, nursing, um, any of those career-oriented tests. There are some practice tests in there. Okay, and I mentioned LibChat in the beginning because our proactive button popped up, but if it doesn't pop up, here it is. I'm highlighting it again, and it will show up on this page, Articles and More. That gate, it's our gateway for doing research here. It's also on our library homepage, our hours, and a few other places. Um, so, so that is a quick overview, a highlight of some of our resources and services and where to find them. I encourage you to reach out to us. And the next person that's going to speak is Dr. Lois lawson Bridell of the Center for Counseling and Wellness Services. So over to Lois. Hello, and thank you for invite for this invitation to share information about the Center for Counseling and Wellness Services. Next slide, slide please. My name is Dr. Lois Lawson Burdell. I am the director of the Counseling and Wellness Services. We are located in the College Center, room 206. The primary mission of CWS is to provide short-term solution-focused assistance in order to facilitate the student's college adjustment and success. Next slide, please. Next slide. We're living in a very challenging time. College can definitely be fun and interesting. You're learning a lot of information, but it is also very stressful. So that is one of the reasons why we have the Counseling Wellness Services here to help students uh, have a place where they can share their concerns and issues and we can help them through that. So students who are enrolled in Rowan College of South Jersey are eligible to utilize the Counseling Wellness Services. Next slide. We provide free and confidential counseling to currently enrolled students. And this is very important because to uh, receive a counselor on the outside, a therapist, psychologist, or psychiatrist, and some social workers, the cost can be a bit much for many students. They either do not have the insurance or the insurance that many mental health agencies are looking for. The services here are confidential, so I cannot share any of your information with anyone on campus. It's not on your records, not sharing it with your uh, felt, your instructors or your parents. 
However, there is a limitation to the confidentiality. If you share that you are a harm to yourself or to someone else, I am a mandated reporter where I have to report that information to the correct authorities. But I don't do that in isolation of the student. I do work with the student, we do things together so that the student can feel some sort of comfort in letting them know that they're going to get the appropriate services to help them. Offer counseling, uh, the type of counseling sessions are solution focused brief treatment and or cognitive behavior therapy modalities. And there are several others. I too also help students with um, time management. We talk about vision boards, mindfulness, um, and hosts of other things to help the student do well academically and personally. So we assist students who experience problems or life stressors that may interfere with their ability to concentrate and achieve personal and academic success. Uh, when we become overwhelmed, we begin to not be able to concentrate, we begin to lose motivation, and that's interfering with your academic abilities. And I'm here to help you overcome those types of situations. Uh, advocate, uh, advocacy, make referrals to campus resources, such as what you've been hearing about the library, uh, the academic support system, financial aid, and many other resources on campus, plus community resources from anything such as for homelessness, substance abuse services, childcare, domestic violence, et cetera. Next slide, please. Type of concerns that are presented to the counseling wellness services range from a multitude of things, from anxiety, which tops the charts, not only for RCSJ students, but across the country. Um, not only students, but our society in general is, we are feeling a lot of anxiety. And depression is very high too, definitely high among college students, relationship issues, time management, uh, the, ha having difficulty balancing multiple responsibilities. Uh, our population, we're dealing with a lot of things at one time, balancing school, work, family, friendship. And a lot of, lot of that can become overwhelming, leading to lack of motivation. Uh, and also, unfortunately, around the college age, the students, um, a person can develop personality disorders. It just so happens during that adolescent age period. And because of the past 18 months or more now, and it's still going on, unfortunately, with the COVID pandemic and the Delta virus, and unfortunately, the social and political rest, it has led to a lot of stressors and grief. Unfortunately, many people have lost people. People are still very sick. And suicidal ideation is very high. I'd like to note that this month, September, is Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month. And suicide is the second leading cause of death among college age students. Next slide. So just briefly, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention states that the symptoms of stress and common reactions to a stressful event include, and this is just a list of the many, and tension and irritability, definitely fear and anxiety about the future, which many people are experiencing during this time, difficulty with concentration and making decisions, uh, people having a hard time sleeping, at night is also interfering with their appetite. Increase in use of alcohol and drugs. Next slide. So it is so important because what I have shared with you is seem like a very depressing type of situation, but it is so important for you to take care of yourself. Self-care is critical. And I know we're very busy and probably do not have time to exercise, but we got to find a way to incorporate some type of exercise. Get out and go for a walk. 
uh, the picture of the two, my two little pups, they're Morkies. And I just noticed that the film picture has their rain gear on and it's raining out today. They go with me everywhere. They are my self-care type of things. Uh, make sure that you're eating healthy, include a lot more fruits and vegetables and definitely water into your diet. Visualize, visual, visualization, stay focused on your goal. That'll help you stay focused and concentrate so that you know why you are here, why you are doing what you're doing. Take time to relax, deep breathing exercise. You may Google Dr. Well, W-E-I-L. He's very good. He came up with the four, seven, eight uh, deep breathing exercises. And mindfulness, it is a scientifically proven way to buffer our stress and definitely avoid alcohol, drugs, and caffeine. Next slide. So whether you're a first time student returning student or a student who has been attending college for some time. Academic, personal, or professional problems can occur. These problems may interfere with the ability to concentrate, deal with life challenges, and cause stress. During these stressful times, the Center for Counseling and Wellness Services is here to help students develop effective coping strategies. Next slide. I always like the quote by our 44th president, Barack Obama, when he said, we whisper about mental health issues and avoid asking too many questions. The brain is a body part too. We, we just know less about it. And there should be no shame in discussing or seeking help for treatable illnesses that affect too many people that we love. It is so important that all of us work together to try to remove the stigma of mental illness. Next slide. My hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Again, I'm located in a college center, room 206. Uh, the telephone number is there, 856-464-5236. Thank you, and I'd like to turn it over to Sarah Hart, Fitness Center. Hello again, everyone. Not only am I president of Alpha Gam Beta Gamma, I am a student worker in the athletics department located within the Physical Education Center. The Fitness and Wellness Center is open every Monday through Friday, 11.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. For all students, students, staff, and faculty. There is no membership required. All you need to bring is a valid student ID. Um, also, stay tuned in sometime in October. We will have open gym time and our hours might be open later. Next slide, please. Why pay for a membership at a gym? Because we have a lot of the same equipment. Next slide. We offer 20 plus cardio machines, including exercise bikes, rowers, treadmills, and we even have a Jacob's ladder. Next slide, please. We also have 20 plus cable weight machines. You can work out um, with like body weight machines and they cover every muscle group. So you can be fit from head to toe. If you want to lift weights, we have them dumbbells, kettlebells, medicine balls, we have them all, ranging from four pounds all the way to 100 pounds. We also have elastic bands and a battle rope. Next slide, please. Our bench slash squat racks are the most popular amongst the student athletes and a lot from the police academy. And the top, left picture is two of our new equipment. Next slide. In athletics, we offer tennis, cross country, soccer, basketball, baseball, softball, wrestling, women's volleyball, track and field, and we even have golf. Next slide. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. 
We even have our own YouTube page. So stay tuned with that. Next slide. Our unified sports are amazing. And it's one of my favorite things about our department. They promote social inclusion through shared sports trainings and competition experiences. Unified sports joins people without, people with and without physical and intellectual disabilities on the same team, making everyone feel included. Next slide, please. Now, if any questions about the fitness center, you can feel free to contact athletics at rcsj.edu. And that email is linked to Brian Rowan, our executive director of athletics, or you can email him browan at rcsj.edu. Leanne Shoning, our assistant director of athletics, or Coach Cooper, who's also our assistant director of athletics and our women's basketball coach. Now I would like to introduce the innovative Jim O'Connor from the Innovation Studio. Um, th thank you, uh, Sarah. Um, hello, um, thank you uh, everyone for having me. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, my name is Jim O'Connor. Um, I am uh, here representing the Innovation Studio. Um, I work for the Gloucester County Library System, uh, mostly within their maker spaces. And uh, so if you're unfamiliar with this term, a maker space is, is kind of a, a general space to come and create things that, um, you know, uh, it, it's intentionally kind of a vague thing because it could be anything from just fixing big equipment to embroidery projects um, and kind of runs the gamut of just making things. Um, so specifically what we have in the innovation studio lets people make um, posters, we um, can do laser cuts, we have helped student government groups with um, buttons um, and um, vinyl decals, and we have some slides for um, to kind of show you um, some of this stuff. So um, next slide, please. Thank you. Um, so uh, Oh, I may be frozen. Um, next slide, please, if you can hear me. Um, is my connection back? You're good, Jim. Okay, thank you. Um, so the big ticket item that we have at the um, college is the laser cutter. We have um, a, a $15,000 laser cutter that is open to the public to use for essentially free. Um, it, it's, it's a really powerful piece of machinery that you can use to create all kinds of products. So maker spaces are great for entrepreneurial type people um, like you might have in your uh, business honor society that uh, could really make the most of a space like this because you could see opportunities for the equipment that other people might not. Um, we also have 3D printers. These we have in a number of spaces across the county uh, at the Armolica Hill branch and then also Glassboro. Um, but just to be clear, the space at the college is open to the general public. So even after you're not a student or if you have family that would be interested, they would be welcome to come in and use the equipment as well. Um, and again, we train you on how to use it, and we're there to for continued support uh, along the way. Um, next slide, please. Um, these are two of the more popular ones. We have a vinyl cutter. We can do um, everything from like card decals with this to um, we have a vinyl heat press that you can actually um, ad adhere to fabric so you can make your own custom um, uh, T-shirt designs, kind of like a fake screen printing. Um, and then the large format printer we've used for all kinds of club events, um, signage around the college, art prints. Um, it, it's, it's been uh, really interesting what people have, have come to the space with. Uh, next slide, please. 
Uh, and, and the button maker um, gets a lot of mileage. Um, the button maker is a really nice, it's kind of the campaign size uh, button maker I voted today. It's two and a quarter inch. Um, we, a lot of the student groups have used these for fundraisers. They've sold buttons, which we, we either charge 25 cents or gift some supplies to student groups uh, for three to five dollars to raise money for their group. So if you're interested in something like that, um, we also just give you at least one free button a day just to stop by. You can make a button and see how the process goes. Um, but uh, ne next slide, please. Um, so again, um, to make an appointment, you would just either um, stop by the space. Uh, we're located in between the library and the academic support center. There's a hallway with um, the elevator there. Um, e email is honestly the best way to make an appointment if you have the time to do it ahead of time. Um, because we would be able to get to that no matter what location we are, because we do work at several um, spaces uh, within the library system um, throughout the week. So uh, I'm happy uh, to answer any questions during the Q&A that's coming up. Um, but for now, we'd like to show a short video by Kristen Wilson to highlight our Roadrunner Refuel Food Program. Uh, thank you very much. Hello. My name is Kristen Wilson, and I am the Director of Behavioral Services with RCSJ, and I work closely with Diane Muzzley. I work with students who are experiencing basic needs insecurities, such as homelessness, food insecurity, and who may need referrals to outside resources for various social services. I operate Roadrunners Free Fuel, which is the Gloucester Campus Food Pantry. The only eligibility is that students need to be currently registered. We don't look at any FAFSA or require any documentation. Questions or how to register and access the food pantry can be sent to food at rcsj.edu and I can coordinate directly with the student. I also work closely with student affairs and the therapists on campus for students who have experienced domestic violence, sexual violence, or parental abuse. I'm not a clinician, but I help navigate on and off campus resources and help with safety planning. My office phone number is 856-494-5688, or you can email me at kwilso22 at rcsj.edu. I would also be uh, I'd also be happy to come and speak to any of your classes and talk about the services that I offer or, um, you know, some of the some of the things that I do here on campus. So thank you very much for your time and for listening and take care. Although Kristen could not be here with us tonight, she stressed to me that she sincerely hopes that any student with a question about the Roadrunner Refuel would reach out to her and her team. And again, that email address is food at rcsj.edu. Next slide, please. So this concludes the formal part of our chat tonight. So what we're gonna do is move into the Q&A portion. So feel free to use the chat feature at the bottom of your screen. If you do not see that, you might have to click on the three dots. Um, there's a three dots button at the bottom of your screen or you might see an option for more features and it would be under there. Um, I know we had a question earlier about, um, the requirements for ABG Honor Society as far as maintaining a 3.0 GPA, whether that was a cumulative GPA or a semester GPA. Um, as I mentioned, you will have to complete the 12 credits and have a minimum GPA of 3.0. If you do that in one semester, that's fine. Um, and then you would be sent the invitation to join the Honor Society. If um, we go into the next semester and you had taken 12 credits more, you would have to um, maintain that. So it would be off of the cumulative GPA. Um, I hope I answered that question well enough. And Jim, um, we did have a question about the innovation studio. Um, could you let us know again what the hours are for the innovation studio? Oh, sure. Uh, right now they're Tuesday and Thursday, uh, nine to four. Thank you. Yep. Um, 
We have a question about how a student can um, access a student discount through New Jersey Transit. Um, does anyone on here know that? I'm not sure of that either, but I can get back to you after the event. I'll, what I will do is send you an email um, with that information. And another question came through, if there were any volunteer opportunities with the Roadrunner Refuel, I can um, send that question to Kristen Wilson and she will be able to reach out to you directly. Liz, we have a question for you. Um, if a student wanted tutoring help, is it possible to get help with multiple courses in one day? Yes, absolutely. Um, great question. So we say two, two appointments per course per week, but beyond that, you're good to go. So if you want to make an appointment, if there's a day that works well for you and you want to make an appointment for a couple different courses, absolutely. Thank you, Liz. Sarah, we have a question for you about the fitness center. Um, are there any COVID restrictions for the fitness center? Do you have to wear a mask? Yes, you do have to wear a mask. And we have this new um, air purifier that sucks in the air as well. So it's like you'll be double safe. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. <laughs> um. And to access the fitness center, Sarah, you better stay on. Um, you just have to show your student ID. Yes, show your student ID. I'm always there for the most part. Um, so you st show your student ID. Please have it validated because like, I do know the campus offers a lot of things when it's validated, but we don't, We it should be validated. Let me rephrase that. So please have your ID validated with this library like validation sticker. So to validate your ID, you would go to the library? Yes. Thank you. And I have one more question for you. Um, what would be the best time of day to use the fitness center if you're worrying about, worrying about it being crowded? Most people don't come in till I would say like lunchtime around like one. So like I would say both like from 1130-ish to one would be the best time. But even when, though, like we don't have that many people coming at once. So I would say the maximum amount of people that I had so far coming at one time was five. But there we have two sections. So it's like everyone will be sporadic. So it's like you don't fully have to worry about someone being really close to you because we have enough equipment. That's until after tonight when we've highlighted the fitness center. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, we have <laughs> another question. Oh, the student ID. You can get your student ID in the student services building, correct? Where can we get the ID? That's correct. You get it in the lobby and student okay. services. Thank you, Dean Claghorn. Um, prep testing. Ooh, another question, Natalie. It is like Planet Fitness for free. What was that, Sarah? I'm sorry. Natalie said, so I hope it's Natalie. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. She said, yes. Oh, so many questions at once. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I lost the question. The fitness center is free. Um, validation. Where is it located? Um, it is located in the physical education building. If you cut through the gym, you should be able to find it. Let me get my student ID because someone's asking about what the validation means. Can I just show my ID? Is that allowed? Um, because, so like I could show them what ID? the valid. Yeah. Well, like the show them what the validation looks like. Sure. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, there was a question about Phi Theta Kappa and do they send out automatic invitations when the criteria is met? Um, I believe they send out the invitation as well to students who are eligible. I can check that with Sean Rudder. Um, if you do want to reach out to him directly, let me real quick put Sean Rudder's contact information in here for you. He's for Phi Theta Kappa or PTK.
and there's his email address. Irena, have I missed any, or go ahead, Liz. I also saw a question um, about tutoring appointments. And the question was, are we taking in-person appointments? And yes, we are taking in-person appointments. Great question. We're taking both in-person and online through Zoom, so whichever you prefer. Um, when you log in through our website, you'll be able to have the option of picking which appointment type you prefer. And if you have any questions or you want someone to schedule an appointment for you, you can just give us a call or shoot us an email. Thanks, Liz. I have one other question for you. Um, with the writing studio, if a student has a discussion board post for an online class, can the writing studio help with those discussion board posts and how long in advance do they have to submit to be able to get a response? Yes, absolutely. The writing studio can help with those discussion board posts um, for sure. Any like chem lab or business paper, or business report, any sort of writing we can help with. Um, as for how long in advance to submit, so you can make an appointment with us and it's best to do this a couple of days in advance because we do fill up. Um, you can make an appointment to meet with a tutor in person or on Zoom, or if you just wanna submit something to us, you can use the form on our website and just copy and paste um, the assignment you're submitting and then any instructions for that. And that I recommend giving us 24 to 48 business hours. Great question. Thank you. Irena? Uh, there's a question, I believe, for Liz, Liz about the uh, prep testing available other than the handout that is given at the testing site for the critical thinking exam for the nursing program. Is there anything else in there? Yes, um, great question. So I'm going to answer it partly, and then I'm going to have Jessica explain the other part. I see that she also put something in the chat. Um, for as far as the test prep goes, we do have academic coaches available through our academic support center. And those coaches would be happy to work with you on critical thinking skills, similar to what you may see on the test. Um, Jessica from the library also has some great resources. So I will let her speak about those. We used to get books like test prep books that you could check out of the library, but you couldn't write in them. So that wasn't so useful for the practical test preparation that people want to do. Now we have a database called Prep Step on that library articles and more page that I was showing you. It's at the very bottom under test preparation. When you click into Prep Step and you try taking some practice tests, it makes you create your own username and password, like your own account within the database so that you can return to whatever progress you're making with the practice tests. So again, the library's article and more page, I linked to it in chat, but basically just go to the homepage, and click articles and more um, is where you would find it at the bottom under test preparation. Thank you, Liz and Jess. Um, Jim, I also have a question about the Innovation Studio. Is there a charge to use the 3D printer? Um, so generally we charge $1.40 an hour. Um, we have not actually been charging for the cost of supplies um, for uh, about the last year, but we uh, may be going back to that at some point soon. Um, so all of the requests have kind of been on sort of like a per request basis on what we're actually charging for them, which is a little, a little haphazard at the moment, but it's been, it works in our, our patrons benefits that we're not charging, uh, mostly for the supplies right now. Um, but it typically it's about a dollar 40 an hour. You, what you would do is you go through the training to use the 3d printer first, and then you would have a fair idea of how long a print would take you. So then you would know ahead of time. Um, pretty much what what a 3D print would cost you at that at that rate. Great, thank you so much. Um, there was an al also a question about ABG Honor Society and if it's too late to join. Um, it's not too late to join. So if you are interested, um, you can email me 
and I can get you all set up. So here's my name and my email address. And I can help you out. Arena, did I miss any questions? I think I think, uh, I, can, I think I see one more about tutoring. Um, and the question is, is tutoring by appointment only or can you walk in? And to keep up with COVID protocols, we are currently encouraging people to make appointments um, so that we can limit, limit the number of people in the center. That said, if we have an opening and you drop by, we'll absolutely set you up with a tutor. But I recommend making an appointment just in case we don't have an opening when you stop by. Um, there's also a question to tutoring. How long is each session? Great question. Um, so each session is about an hour. The appointment slots that we reserve are an hour. If you don't need that whole time though, which you may not always, it can be shorter as, as needed. Thank you, Liz. We'll give it one about maybe 20 more seconds in case any other questions come through. I also have like what the student ID looks like. Oh, you can't oh, see because of my background. I just realized that. Okay, so this, can you guys see? It's a little blurry, but this is what the validation looks like. You just get your, pick up your ID, and then this is what the validation looks like. Thank you for sharing. I was that. wondering what it looks like. My picture's <laughs> bad, so that's the only reason I put that out. <laughs> you did a good job at covering. <laughs> but they are free, except if you lose it, it's a $10 replacement fee. Oh, um, I did just get a text from one of our former officers from ABG, Shauna Graves. Um, she's asking about the new... Um, platform that's available to students to update resumes. Um, Dean Claghorn, I don't know if you wanted to speak about that. I know the um, platform is called Hyration. And um, what you could do is contact Dr. Candace Rossidi, and I will put her information in here. So there, there's a whole suite of services that are available to students in terms of job, uh, job search, career preparation, um, you know, and kind of finding your fit. And uh, you want to go out, I think also, uh, Danielle, if you want to check the website real quick, because um, you can take her to, what is it, ICC, is it rcsj.edu slash, is it ICC? ICP. Yeah, is it ICP? You, yeah, let's just check that because we can put that in the chat as well. But you can make an appointment. All those services are free as well. Um, if you haven't thought about internship, really think about internship as an opportunity. All those services you can find through um, internship and careers. That's in the second floor of the College Center building, or um, I think Danielle's putting some, uh, some information in the chat, yes? I did, yes. Okay, so please uh, take advantage of those opportunities. Uh, one other service that I'll um, just mention real quick while we're on that is um, something that my students mentioned to me when we're doing introductions in the beginning of the semester is that they're not really sure what they want to do. Um, so our ICP department um, has a test called Focus 2 that you can take. And what that can help you do is kind of narrow down what um, may be a good career choice for you based off your interest. So again, you could... Um, message uh, Dr. Rasidi for information on that, or you can check um, out their website and that will give you more information as well. You're also gonna wanna watch in the upcoming weeks for events called Job Ready Now. There's going to be week-long events at both Cumberland and Gloucester for uh, job preparation services, gonna be resume prep, speed interviewing, where you can um, learn how to interview if you've never interviewed, you can come in and meet real employers who will sit and do three minute interviews with you. Um, and you know, it's low risk and great experience. So watch for those kinds of opportunities. Um, it's probably uh, not your first choice to go and spend a lot of time in your email every day, but spend a little time in your email every day and you'll find a lot of announcements on that. Thank you, Dean Claghorn. 
I think we have answered all the questions. Um, so we really wanted to thank you all for joining us tonight. Um, it's been a pleasure highlighting these resources. I wanna thank our partners who came to highlight the services that they offer for our students. And um, my email is in there, so please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. I hope you all have a wonderful night and you have a great fall semester.